Hi everybody! So today I'm going to be doing the YouTube newbie tag. Uh, I thought while I was still pretty new around these parts, it seems to be quite a fun and easy tag, so let's get into it. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? Um, for about the past four, four and a half years, I've watched booktube religiously. Um, along with other sides of YouTube as well. Um, and I've always been interested in making my own videos. For the past sort of like three years I've been dabbling with making vlogs and music videos and things and, and nothing really worked, nothing ever took off, I was never very comfortable or confident with my work that I produced. And then I would say probably six months ago I was sitting and sort of contemplating why I hadn't actually started making a booktube channel because I'd really always wanted to get into everybody's discussions and I feel like commenting for me wasn't quite enough. I wanted to sort of have my own channel where I could say my own thing. It took me quite a while to pluck up the courage. Uh, usually I'm not particularly sort of um, unconfident person with this thing but I felt because it's quite an established place there's already so many incredibly intelligent and gifted booktubers that I would probably struggle a little bit more and sometimes I step over my words a little bit, I'm a bit unsure of what I want to say. Um, it seemed quite daunting, which if you're a new YouTuber and you really really want to start booktube, just do it. It's not scary at all, I promise, it's absolutely fine. People are so welcoming and lovely to you, so don't worry, just go for it. But yeah, I've always really loved like broadcasting my opinion and, and talking to people and challenging ideas and society and stereotypes and things and I think this is the perfect platform to do that. Sort of to go along with that in case anybody's interested, my channel is called Read It and The Write. Um, that's mainly because I do write my own stuff. I'm currently in the process of writing my own short story collection so obviously I'm a reader and the right reader and the right. <laughs> that's where it came from. So the second question is what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Well obviously everybody takes their own individuality and their background and their livelihood and everything into reading a text um, so in that sense all of my opinions are completely unique um, as they reflect you know my background and my upbringing etc etc. So in that sense all my opinions are unique and things. Uh, fun I suppose you know. I mean I'm more than happy to talk about things other than books. Uh, I also act, uh, I do photography, I have a photography business, um, I dance, dance is the main thing that I do. I have this very creative background. Uh, some people comment on my makeup and that's really lovely so I mean I can always talk about makeup, I, I don't know, I'd probably not. <laughs> yeah I mean I'm at university so I suppose everything that I learn there I'm putting into things I'm reading and writing. So that adds up to sort of being this unique thing, but I mean, apart from that, I'm just pretty, pretty standard, but that's fine. So the third question is, what are you most excited about your book channel? Uh, this is really easy for me. It's definitely meeting new people, but it was always my intention to make friends and discuss all the time. And, you know, it's a really great platform for making friends aside from, you know, in real life, because it's not often that you get people that have similar opinions on books. Um, that you meet in sort of everyday life, so I think that opportunity is really great too. I'm not on here for anything to do with the subscribers and things, that's incredible that I even have like 10, <laughs> so to say that I'm almost at 500 is, is amazing, but I mean that just means that there's even more people to talk about books with me in the comments, which is, you know, exactly what we want. So the fourth question is, why do you love reading? Um, I love reading because it's an outlet, takes you away from whatever is going on in life, whether it's bad or good, and sort of transports to this world where you're comfortable, you're happy, you're learning. I mean, I don't really want to go into it too deeply, but at secondary school, primary school, were not the best times for me, and books were always there. You know, you come home at the end of the day and you're fine, you're back in a world where you're happy and relaxed and everything just seems okay again. I think it was always sort of an escape for me. So the fifth question is, what books or series got you into reading in the first place? Um, I was read Northern Lights, um, and that series as a child. But in terms of probably reading for myself, it was Jacqueline Wilson. I read those probably when I was a little bit too young to fully understand some of the more serious topics that were going on, but as a whole, she was just such an incredible writer. She definitely got me into reading properly. So number six is what questions would you ask your favourite booktubers? Uh, I'm really lucky that actually two of my favourite booktubers that I'd watched for a long time before I started my own videos, I'm now friends with, that we're doing this Buddy along with which is really lovely. It's hard to think actually that I've been watching them for so long and all of a sudden we're sort of chatting away. Same with people that have commented um, in my videos like Mercedes, I'd watched her for years and years and then all of a sudden she was there commenting so thank you very much. In terms of what I'd ask them, like I just want to sit down and have you know, a cup of tea and a chat about books really. There's no one thing that I'd like to ask because I do have so many favourite YouTubers but this sort of ties in with the whole idea of making friends. I really, really just want to, like, you know, meet 
people and sit down and have a chat and talk about books and you know how books shape us and change us and why we love the books we love and all that sort of thing so I mean if anyone's up for it <laughs> no but it is you know it's it's a lovely thing so question seven is what challenges do you think will be the hardest to overcome when you're on your booktube channel um, mine is definitely university yeah definitely uni sort of getting in the way but thankfully I'm completely finished it's over it's done goodbye university for a year um, I don't really have that many commitments apart from if I'm at my job or doing a photography shoot or a dance competition or dance practice or teaching, something like that, um, I mean, it might mean that I can't upload more than once a week, but I don't think that really matters that much. I'm quite lucky in the sense that I don't have too many commitments or things that are going to sort of hinder keeping this book channel up and going all the time. Um, which is really great, I'm really lucky for that. So question eight is when did you start reading? I can remember reading fluently in all honesty probably from about the age of six or seven. Do you remember in primary school you'd have um, different coloured groups of books and you'd move through them as you got more and more confident reader and you understood more words? Well uh, when I started in reception I was absolutely obsessed with finishing the whole thing of books that you're supposed to finish in like year five when you can start reading whatever you want by like year one. <laughs> I was absolutely obsessed and I, I managed to do it by about year two I think. I think I was just so desperate to read to be honest. So question nine is where do you read? Um, I read mostly on trains. I'm travelling to and from Birmingham um, to see my boyfriend or to see plays and things like that. I don't particularly like reading in my own room which sounds a bit strange. I like sort of finding random places around the house or around other people's houses to just sit and read. Uh, I used to love reading in the garden but obviously because I live in England it's not really warm enough to read in the garden at the moment, even though it's May. But yeah, I, I sort of just read wherever I can, really. And the last question is, what kind of books do you like to read? Uh, I pretty much read over genres, I'll read whatever. Probably six months ago, I had this complete switch in my head uh, where I would only read YA pretty much exclusively. And then all of a sudden I had this switch and I don't read it at all now, so I have so many adult fiction to catch up on that I'm reading these books that people read years and years ago. I don't know what it is, I'm, I'm not discrediting it in the slightest, but I just, I just sort of don't want to read it at all. And I watched a lot of booktubers at the time that exclusively spoke about YA, and I think I sort of like ran myself dry with YA to be honest. I don't, I don't particularly have a genre that I always go to, um, I sort of just read whatever. I quite like being able to read through genres, um, yeah bit of everything really. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, in terms of tagging, I tag anybody who's a newbie on YouTube that wants to do this, but exclusively I'm gonna tag Adam from Memento Mori. I'm assuming that's how you say it, please correct me if it's not, um, who's just started. I'll leave his channel out down below. He's absolutely amazing. Definitely go and subscribe to him. So until next time, I hope you all have a lovely week and happy reading. I'll see you all later guys. Bye!